Hello everyone, and we are today uh, spectating a game of uh, Switzerland versus China, and we have the pleasure to get Yanis with us today. How are you, Yanis? Hello, I'm very good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so and... you are the team captain of Switzerland, right? Uh, yes, um, well, I didn't win the, the nationals, yep. uh, but then I asked who should be captain, and no one uh, volunteered, so I said I can do yeah, it because more... I've got some time right now, so... But yeah, officially I'm the captain, but which is um, yeah, and you you know I'm you just also, more of a manager. Yeah, true. But you was also one of the very good players that played in, in the world uh, national and the world championship on uh, 2023 last year. So we we basically know you since at least one year, and more than be, be being the team captain, you are also a very good player on first contact set. So yeah. Try, try my best. <laughs> that's the set we will spectate, right? Uh, you played uh, so the World Championship set, basically. We bring back to the National Cup, uh, and you are playing it, right? Exactly, yeah. I decided, like, um, I kind of, I don't want to give away tactics, but, like, I, I feel, like, comfortable on every set. And I just said, well, I got top four at Worlds. I could easily do this set and be, be very comfortable. So yeah, we decided at least for the group stage um, to go with me for the Wells 2023 okay. set. And for you two as our teammate, uh, like one of them was, I think, the winner of the Switzerland uh, national. Mm -hmm. And so I think he played the evolution set would be natural, no? Yes, yeah, he's playing the evolution set. Um, again, I don't want to give away tactics because yeah, it's so not, no, a, no, do not, not set yet like, for um, yeah, yeah. the knockout stages. But right now he's playing, um, just for the two group games, he's playing um, the evolution set, okay. yeah. I mean, you... Because he felt most comfortable on it and he won on evolution. Uh, he actually lost against me, but he won the tournament. So, okay. um, yeah, it was was a pretty easy decision. Okay. I mean, it, it's still like up to the team to change their uh, lineup if they want. So in the playoff phase, if any team wants to switch their player uh, from one set to another, it will be still possible. So you can make like some surprise to the other team by not being on one specific set but on another. But yeah, it's it's still like also not uh, not so easy to master three sets. So I would guess most of the player will stick with their uh, best set. Yeah, that's what I expect as well. But like at the same time, I think you just put. I mean, they, they, you could put tactic in it depending on if you feel like you have a player that is mm, falling off a bit, no matter where they play. If you feel like you have someone who's a kind of a weak link, and you know for a fact that the opponent's player is like the strongest on a certain set, you could maybe put them on that set instead. Yep. But I don't think people are going to do much tactics. They just put their players on the sets they're most comfortable yeah, with. Yeah, true. And mm -hmm. to be fair, I feel fine no matter what. Like, if anyone wants to play against me on, like, this set, for example, uh, I'll just do my best. If I win, it's fine. And if I lose, well, I don't think I'll lose. But <laughs> <laughs> um, if I lose, it's also fine. It's just sometimes uh, the luck of the draw as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty curious because... Uh, I played this obviously myself, <laughs> but um, I think with the first game I was not too happy, but I don't perfectly okay. remember it. But, um... Let, let's see. So you are playing on the bottom, Yanis, mm -hmm. and you are, we are, you are playing against a Chinese player, which his name is not so easy to read because it's in Chinese, but it, it says it, it should be pronounced in Ying Yao Shengmu. Uh, so I think we will call okay. him Ying Yao. Uh, I'm, I'm sure my pronunciation is not so good, but uh, let, let's give yeah, him, uh, oh. the name. Okay, uh, Ying Yao. Y Ying Yao. Ying Yao. Okay, I can stick with that. We'll we'll try our best. So, uh, so it's like first contact plus uh, upgrade pack, and the tweak of the World Championship set is there is no Girafodile and only one copy of those upgrade pack cards. You can see uh, the card here, like on the bottom, there is a small dot that is telling you are playing only with one copy. Uh, Goblin exactly. Werewolf first. You know, it's some. It's it's a card that I like to mind back first, but uh, here, I think you your plan was more to challenge the Goblin Werewolf with your own Hunter Poisonous, and maybe the Amster Lion. Oh, it doesn't work that yeah. much. Yeah, 
I think I was considering mind bugging it, but at the same time, if you play creep from the deep and they don't attack it, you now get a free kill on yeah, the goblin. True. So and if they attack forced. it, I have tempo. Yeah. And if he's... they mind bug it, I could have played, for example, hamster lion or snail hydra. Yeah. And be somewhat okay. And now I have a free board to play on. Um, yeah, true. I mean, the trade was was quite okay. I mean, the yeah. goblin werewolf is super strong in some situations, so getting rid of of it. For one of yeah, and this started, so so I now got the uh, I got now the advantage. I basically got yeah. tempo because I can now first play a card. Yeah, yeah. You 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 went back from second player to first player with one less card in each deck. So uh, I'm still lion. Oh, and you take. I mean, that's that's always something I love to do. It's like one explosive toad. Thanks. It's so card I can use later for anything. It's just so useful. It's like a hunter in a way. Uh, it can just remove anything, right? Yeah. And at the same time, it's it kind of puts a lot it. of pressure on him right now. Yeah, also, yeah. If he plays a small card, you have a Frenzy. I mean, in that case, you have the Amster Lion. But sometimes yeah. it's just like he cannot play a small card because Frenzy is super annoying on this. Yeah. And it this one's actually also. a bit annoying for me because if I attack with Explosive Toad, yeah, I have if, to kill my yeah. own Amster Lion. Yeah, and but some it's players fine because... doesn't know that. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's fine here because... At the same time, his sneaky cannot attack, right? Yeah, so you are safe for now, but you never yeah. know. Like, he can play a two or one power card, which is yeah. some card he have in end. You don't know that, but he got the snail thrower and he also mm. got the hungry, hungry hamster. Uh, so he can play it and start attacking with the, the spider. Hole then. So now you want to yeah. make him not able to block and attack, which is, <laughs> which is okay. It's a tricky situation for Ying Yao here. Uh, so this card is basically dead, the spider hole. Now the spider hole can block. But the magic I think I will manticore... ex attack with the explosive toad here, I think. Makes the most sense. Because he can't block with the manticore. And no matter what he blocks with, I get yeah. rid of two cards. I think it's not a bad decision uh, here to just not two attack cards. With If he blocks with the majestic manticore, you have to... You have to yeah, I killed the, the spider hole. Yeah, but the majestic manticore would not be dead, right? Uh, yes, he can't block with it. But he can't block, yeah, yeah, sure. He, he, he can't block, so yeah, no choice for him, sure. So yeah, you force him to to block with the spider all. I mean, he could take two hit, but I think it's super dangerous in that case. Yeah. So yeah. And so, now, yeah. What, no matter what he plays now, I could attack twice with hamster line because of the fairy pacifier. Yeah. They, these cards actually share an artwork, and I love it. Like, <laughs> I yeah, didn't realize I mean, it. Yeah, yeah, play. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can but see they, a, um, a piece of the ferret pacifier on the yeah. bottom, and and the the other way around, on the other. Uh, okay, so this is quite strong. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, I think it was one of the cards that basically saved him from that situation of you play a card, I attack you twice, you are done to one. Uh, now the hamster lion is defeated. And you can start attacking with the Ferret Pacifier right now. It's still an option. Yeah, I think I must have considered it. Um, Snail Hydra is actually interesting. That's a bit... I think that was something I was not too happy with. I think Goblin Werewolf is better here. Because if he takes the Werewolf, you can still follow up with Snail Hydra. Yeah, true. Uh, I mean, it's not that easy of a situation. I mean, even... To, to, I mean, Turbo Bug is not great. Yeah, but the thing is, like, you play the Saint Ladra and he will start attacking with the Tigers. Well, yeah, return. that's so for him. It's like, okay, it's oh, you get kind yeah. of lucky, right? That he didn't want to attack. Yeah, I think he should just attack. Yeah, and I think that's one thing I didn't like about this game from my side. Yeah, but okay. yeah, I don't because remember. You, I just you, gave, remember... you gave him an opportunity to. Yeah, like if he just attacks yeah. and I don't have an answer to it, I will eventually lose. True. But to be fair, I could have played... I think I was thinking if he attacks, I just play Compost Dragon and force him to mind bug it. Yeah. Okay, I take the Snail Thrower. Uh... I think that's reasonable because now I have a Hunter. Okay, so... That's funny that he's not pushing so far the uh, sneaky attacks. And he well, knows fair, that... If he attacks he can... now... He will lose basically everything he will play right now. Especially like this Goblin Werewolf was, I think, the worst card he could get from your hand. In that situation. Because the third pacifier can just attack. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's still like, even if you start attacking the Goblin Werewolf, you will take two it normally. I, I think I will actually sneaky. hunt the Sneaky. 
Yeah, but then I you think can I will hunt get rid the, of the poison ooze, and then you have, there is one sneaky left that you cannot manage, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. Again, I'm not. I was not too happy with the first game. I don't remember exactly why, but I see multiple things here that I'm not a hundred percent. Like this was not an easy situation to be in. I think at this point, I thought I'll lose. Like I remember distinctly at one mm. point in the game, I thought, "Oh, this it's it's game over," and maybe I will lose. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but here I definitely was not feeling too happy. Um, because, mm. yeah, if I attack the, the goblin werewolf, I lose two life basically. Yeah. So. But if you start attacking oh. the sneaky, then. Okay, so compost you went dragon. for the compost dragon, but you have two mind buff. Yeah. So, oh yeah. I mean, that was. Obvious, I think right? I want to get some value out of Snail Hydra. Yeah, maybe. Which I don't is, remember which what's on the. I mean, he can bring, which is sad. He can bring. Yeah, he can bring. Majestic Manticore yeah. or Spider Roll, and I would have bring the Majestic Manticore to be honest. In that case, because like, I don't know, but I imagine you have two Kangosaurus Rex, you just completely destroy uh, your. <laughs> girl. So. Yeah. On his side, I would, I would, I would like, love to not be so uh, uh, afraid by uh, Conquerors Rex, and bringing something like the Majestic Manticore is uh, at least a way to get maybe rid of yeah. the Snail Sower if you attack with it, which is super good. But now, well, I, I think I would do the same thing anyway, right? I would yeah, just yeah. Uh, attack with the Snail Hydra, remove yeah, the poisonous. I mean... But against Kangasaurus, your play would have been uh, yeah. much better. Okay. Mm. Yeah, he blocked. I think. I don't think he had to block. Uh, no, I think he should not block. Not block at all. I think was was the correct choice. I mean, he, yeah, he got here... like. A, he, I think he was maybe a bit scared because he got a lot of three power cards that was not able to block, and so mm. maybe he was like, "Oh come on! If I, you know, yeah, if at some point the two power is defeated, then I cannot block at all." Yeah, but, but now I got a good opportunity to play something that becomes a hunter and if he takes it i got the snail hydra active again so i think i can either play shield bugs or turbo bug here i think shield bugs is pretty strong here because if it's mind bug then you have a free attack to defeat the sneaky so yeah but i do have the same with turbo bug Sa same but um i mean it's a bit more mind, annoying because turbo bugs, bug actually hurts me yeah yeah if he mind bug it then he can put you to down to two yeah no, or actually, to down one. to one. Or to one. Killer depend, B depend kills. With, 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 uh, which card he attacks. But... Yeah. Okay, so he did not mind. I think that was a mistake from him because I don't see him. I mean, he needs. He needs. Uh... He needs the shield bug and the Tusk Destorter to bring back the, uh, something in that game. That is. Yeah. Uh, Able I'm still thinking about the Hydra. shield box from me. I think you're right. Shield box would have been better than turbo bug because turbo bug had more risk to it. If he takes it and then I remove the sneaky. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I would just remove the turbo bug. And then I have well, it's still not good against killer bee. So now Yeah, I didn't I mean, play yeah. around killer bee well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you you would have been a, a way more sensible to a few cards mm. because of that trouble bug, so yeah, definitely would have played the shield bug to avoid uh, putting myself to one life if my opponent have a very good card. Uh, here it's like perfectly fine because of the trouble bug still able to defeat the, the Tusker Destorter, which is, I mean, this guy usually it's like just here to deep to put the opponent's life point to one, but in that specific case, you defeated the sneaky plus defeated one of the guys that is annoying to you right now. Uh, um, well, here why, I decide to play attacking? shield box, because uh, if I, if he takes shield box, uh, I obviously get a free attack with Snail Hydra, and if he doesn't take it, then I have a 10 power. If he attacks with the Tusk Sword, I discard one. I don't care. I have a I have a Snail Hydra. I have a Hunter. I have two Hunter Poisonous. Actually, no matter what mean, he plays, I think I'm fine. That that means you do not play any card if he doesn't mind bug, right? Because he attack with the Tusk Starter, you can discard the last one. Uh, one of the yeah. two, and then the last one is uh, one he will mind bug. So yeah, but I'm fine. I, I have like I mean, yeah, yeah, then yeah, I would sure. have shield box, which are also poisonous hunters. You just don't know the last card of your opponent, so yeah, you know it's like it's say okay, maybe I need one of those two cards, and sometime in that situation, 
I love to see the Death Weaver being on board to avoid like uh, the Killer Bee or anything like this uh, on my opponent's Yeah, we'll side. play it here, I'm sure. Um, yeah, it's a good opportunity right now to play it. But yeah, before that I felt like no, even if he had Brainfly or Killer Bee or... Brainfly is a bit <laughs> annoying, right? No, well, not so much because of the Snail Hydra. No, I have Sneaky bugs. Poisonous. Yeah. yeah, I think... No, I think I would have been fine either way. Like, maybe Grave Robber or Compass Dragon. I'm not sure about all of the, um, the discard pile cards, but maybe Grave Robber or Compass Dragon mm -hmm. could have been an issue. I mean, here. Yeah, okay. Now you, now you know that basically you won. Yeah. Uh, you still have... To attack with your turbo bug right now, I would say no. Oh, you did not. Okay. I mean, you could have just. Uh, there's multiple attacked. ways. I just, yeah, yeah, true. I, I, mean, I don't think I can lose. I usually it's like to not play any card in my hand if I'm not forced to it, you know. So I would like try to figure out what how I. Can yeah, I don't have it. to here. But yeah. Because I attack now, and then he can yeah, not play a card. Which is funny, like you, yeah, you don't have to play a card, but yeah, true. It, it, it was also. A but yeah, like the game was not losable at this point no 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 no. i mean at, yeah in the middle of the game where i don't remember exactly at some point he left past something he, you played a card that he did not mind bug and i think that was yeah the turbo bug i think yeah, that I think was that dangerous was, yeah the turbo bug because if he has killer b on the other hand i, th I think he the, the way he played he didn't attack with the sneakies at all yeah true. and that was and, and down true. to I think zero mind pucks pretty early on. Yeah. And he did not push those sneaky attacks. So I think I felt like he doesn't have Killer B. Yeah, true. Like it, he can still have it, but true. like I think he was down to like six or five cards. And I felt like if he had Killer B, he would be pushing way more aggressively here towards one right, life. Right. But I and think he never he was actually also, pushed. He was also like uh, hungry of taking one of the cards with the hungry, hungry hamster. At the point you did not get any more mind bug. He just like played this card right away because he's, he was like s waiting for it so long. I think that he really wanted to get your your card back, uh, one of your card. I mean, and I think it's it's a card that you want to play a bit later in the game when your opponent have not so much choice in hand and you are almost sure to get something very relevant. In that case, it was super early, and. He did not attack with a sneaky, which was like something that would have killed you. I think if you basically you played the snail hydra, but on his point of view, it was more like okay, played something that is not answering to my card, so I can start attacking and let him find a solution to to, mm. to get back to the game. And instead, he played this guy that was, I mean, not more an issue than the other. Uh, I mean, one or two sneaky, I think in your case was was still okay. And uh, and it enabled the Hydra, I think also. Yeah, which I was, agree. I agree. Which was like, I think um, one, the first mistake he did to play this guy super early, which was maybe so much better in late game. Imagine I don't. Know, yeah. Also, like it, it was even I... before that. Um, the the point where I played a Hydra, he didn't actually have um, he didn't have the sneak yet, but at that point he could have already attacked because I lose the race. And later sneaky, on, I think I played compost. Time. You you played the snail hydra and and he got a sneaky. Yeah, he could have just attacked. Yeah, yeah. True. That was the first one, yeah. and then the hamster line, uh, no, the hungry hungry hamster. I agree, was also played too early because at this point, this didn't actually do that much for him. Maybe he was hoping for a good card from me, but yeah, like, maybe yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have five cards. I'm gonna give him the one that's true. least painful to me. Yeah, true. I mean, this card is super good, but that's true that sometimes it's not that good because you play a sneaky card that is only two powers. So it can be hunted, it can be blocked by another sneaky. Yeah. And because the opponent chooses the card he's giving to you, it's like the more the card he has in hand, the, the, the easiest it is to, to for him to give it to you anything that is not so good. Especially yeah, exactly. if we know that the Gore Eagle is around, you know, and sometimes you have like just one life point and the opponent give, is giving you a Gore Eagle Alpha and you cannot play it because you will lose the game if you do. So uh, it's uh, it's not always a, a, a good card to to just be out of a, of a bad situation. But in that case, yeah, I think it could have been way better a bit later. 
I think Hungry Hungry Hamster is like the best way to put it. This it's a very annoying card. <laughs> it is it's, definitely like sneaky, it's very taking annoying. your card, playing for free yeah. card. It's super. But strong. sometimes I think people they get annoyed in a situation because this card is annoying, right? I have to give yeah. you a card. He has a sneaky, and they just get angry or annoyed, and they just mind bug it. Yeah, true. And I think it's often good to mind bug Hungry Hungry Hamster. But I think sometimes we, it's kind of with um, Ferret Bomber, like you see this guy plays it and you're like, well, I don't like that. I'll just mind bug it. Yeah. But you should be careful about not letting your emotions and your annoyance get the better of you there. Because sometimes yeah. they usually have a plan. Like for example, Ferret Bomber, if my opponent just drops that on turn one, I'm yeah. almost certain he has a, um, he has a Compose Compose Dragon. Dragon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, worst case he has either. cave yeah, worst case he has grave robber and compost dragon yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then no matter what i do yeah he can uh, get something true but yeah i mean it's also the same for the ferret bomber if you play it late it's also better because once you open up to get down to two card and it, it's maybe the two card he needs to win the game and then you yeah. deny those two card from him uh and you you let him no choice to do so uh, i still think it, if you have if you have compost dragon yourself and you have an answer to the Ferret Bomber besides the Compost Dragon, I still think it's it's very fine to just play it for tempo, because obviously they have to deal with the Sneaky, and you gain back a card from your graveyard, or you make them use two Mind Bucks for basically a three Hunter and a, and a, and a two Power um, Sneaky. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just saying, like, these cards, like... How do I put it? I, I feel like sometimes... People go too much for value and not enough for tempo. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That was the case here. Of... I think he was like, "Oh, I can play it right now and get some crazy stuff out of his hand," but it was. Yeah, he should just attack. Yeah. He just should just put me down and put me under pressure. Basically, that was luxury. Like he didn't have to do that. Yeah, exactly. He basically, mm -hmm. just lost the turn. But sometimes you know, it's like you see the card you are like willing to play for like four turns, and you say, "Oh, now it's it's an opportunity to play it," and you jump on it. But basically, it's like, no, no, you get better play beside it. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, talking about that, actually, I, I should have attacked with my uh, Ferret Pacifier when you said it. Because that would have put pressure on him. Because then I, I win the clock, right? Yeah, true. Like, playing the Hydra there was just not not a good play. So, I remember now why I was very unhappy with this game. <laughs> because it was not... I won, but that was not clean at all. Like, there were multiple yeah, times you where do, I did... you both do, did some mistake, sure. Yeah, there were multiple times where I did stuff that was, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't horrible, but it was it was a bit too risky. Yeah. Which someone else can maybe punish. True. Um, cool. Let's go to game two. <laughs> Looking forward to that one. So you, you sure will uh, see some more mistakes. You you were still on the bottom of the screen, and uh, Ying Yao was on the top of the screen. What do we have here? Oh, Kundra Kulish, Ferret Pacifier. Interesting. Uh, yeah. could There's be... only one Killer Bee and only one Grave Robber, I think, right? Uh, yeah. Which is okay. good to know that uh, there is one Killer Bee missing. They are very, very interesting cards to, to know that they're less likely to show up. Yeah. And I love I love you to you start with opening with the Kundra Kulish here. It's like... <sighs> it felt like the most pressure in a way yeah. because the other stuff uh, I, I don't know like if yeah, he takes it I at least good. get the tiger yeah. squirrel but you get you get uh, as a top deck you get the Gorigal Alpha which is not uh, going well uh, alongside no the it's not good with it <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, very you don't costly. want both of them basically but you get both of them uh, it would be nice if you get also the Yenix you know at some point so you can maybe like use life by attacking getting back from Yenix uh it's still it's like funny the that you mentioned that. A, a lot. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember and, what. Okay, he took oh, it. Actually. He took it. Interesting. And, and now it's good for you, right? I could play Tiger Squirrel into Gorigal Alpha, but that puts me to one life. And uh, I think I will probably just play Plated Scorpion here, but I'm uh, I don't quite remember. But yeah, I think true. Plated Scorpion is a bit safer. True. Yeah, 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 maybe because you will not attack with the Conductor. And I get a second one. That. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why not? You can never have too many plated scorpions. Yeah. Actually, you can, but usually they're pretty. They're pretty decent usually. Yeah, it's. I mean, one of the best blocker of the game. So 
Having one is always good. Ooh, that's funny. Oh, and we see that the killer bee, the, the, the second one, is there in the hand of Ingao. Uh, so the Yenix. I mean, now it could be super annoying for you because he will trade against the plated scorpion, bring, get it back, and it's. That, that is very annoying. And I think that was why he was thinking that much about taking the Condor Kilish. Like, what can I do with it? And obviously, the Enix is uh, one of the good combo you can get. Yeah, I decide to be greedy here because I have like Ferret Pacifier as an answer, which, which would at least good. take one life. Yeah, and, and then that means one less effect of the Condor Kilish. So. Yeah, and also, Hyenix doesn't want to lose life while it's on the board. True, but if so you if play, uh, uh, I mean, if you play it, uh, then he's he can forced attack, to attack now. He can attack with the Yenix, and then you trade yeah. the Yenix with again the plated scorpion. Then if you attack, he brings back the Yenix, and then he can continue attacking with the Yenix one more time. You attack again, he brings back, and he attack twice. Um, I that don't really like this That might be what happens. That might be what happens, okay. but I'd, I'm not forced to attack, right? Uh, you are not forced to attack. You can just play card, but if you attack. Yeah, yeah, you are not forced, but if you attack, you are you are getting in that situation where the plated scorpion deal with the Yenix and he lose all this life, which is good for yeah. you because he cannot use the Kundraklish anymore. Yeah, I think I might, it's possible that I might do this, but I feel like whenever you just say like, oh, that's not too comfortable, yeah. I have another plated scorpion and again, if he loses that much life over it and then he has a Count Draculich sitting there, I, I think I'm fine with that. I will take that trade. And I probably will attack. I think that's reasonable. But I, I might only attack once. The second time I might just block and then play something. Mm -hmm. and basically, I lost. I mean, attacking ah. attacking once once now. I think it's I think it's cool. Mm. You are not scared about the Enix coming back and inflicting you two damage because of the plated scorpion able to block, which is good. Yeah, and also it activates my compost dragon. Yeah. True. But I actually decide to go on the aggressive here, which is, I think this is also fine, because he has to answer the sneaky sooner or later. If he takes it, yeah. I now... Mm. Gorigal Alpha is a good, a, a good option, but a bit later, right? Yeah, I'm a Not bit sure scared of my uh... HP here. Yeah. I think attacking would have been better, because then it comes back, he attacks again. Ah, oh, wait, but then I can't play the compost dragon. Yeah, it's... I mean, if you attack again, <laughs> you can play it. I don't know because he can. I mean, yeah. He can also get the Hyenix back. Yeah, which but is it's not not so great. But okay. If I had Rhino Turtle already in hand, I think I might have just done that. Yeah. Because with Rhino Turtle, then that would have been pretty crazy. True. Okay, doesn't take it. Yeah, he's down to one mind bug. People don't like to just mm -hmm. mind bug, mind bug too much. That's yeah, true. Yeah, but I mean, okay. What is good on this point of view is like he have a Yenix and three life point, which is uh, super nice just to have uh, something that is popping back from the discard pile uh, at any time you need it. Uh, so he, it's funny, he also got the Compost Dragon, so he did to you what you wanted to, did to, to do to him. Uh, mm. Funny. He got the so now I just attack here. It comes back, yep. but I don't think it matters much because he has to still remove the tiger squirrel. And so if he does that, now I get a free attack. It's funny that you came back in the exact same situation than two turn uh, before. You see? Yeah, the... but I'm he's one, le yeah, one I, life I, I, less. I, I know, but the board state is the same. Like <laughs> yeah, he, he lost same. those two cards, but it's so funny. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's that's way better attack. for me, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, and now he can't is... attack. He's, he's basically dead in the water here. Uh, interesting. Do you think of taking this card? Hunter, it's already I, five. I mean, I always, whenever an opponent plays a card, I think about it, right? Yeah, but true, here, but... I'm pretty sure I don't take... Well, It's not so uh, bad taking it, Wait, right? wait, wait. I think it's... Let me think. What did I... I might take it, actually. I think I don't have to because I could just attack with the plated scorpion and force him to block. But yeah, at the same time, it's bad not if bad you do to have that, that because... problem. I know, for because force it what? to block with the problem. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, 
Yeah, forgot that the Tunnel Village and the Yenix cannot block right now. Yeah, the fair passive fire. That's probably what I'll do here. Oh no, I play Gorilla. It would be okay. super fun that he play a 7 power card next turn. So all the card became 7 power and you win like this. But the, I, yeah, <laughs> win. Okay, that's a good opportunity to play the Gorigal Alpha for sure. Yeah. Uh, so now, I don't get that. To be honest, I don't get that. I would have played. I would have played something. I would have played uh, like Luchator or even this guy. I think this guy was really good to play right now. And so you can save the Froblin. Yeah, maybe. I'm super sad that he lose the the Froblin for no good reason. I mean, if he played the eight power, it was perfectly fine. He, got, he cannot block with the eight, but he can block with the three of the seven. So. I, I it's funny, I don't even think I had to play the Gorigal. I think I should have just attacked with the Scorpion. Mm. Because I removed the yeah, Froblin for free. Yeah, true. True. It was I think it was better from your point of view. But on the other hand, long term it's good to have a Gorigal on board. No no, but then he can attack with the Yenix twice. Uh... No no, but then he loses. If he attacks uh, yeah, with yeah, the Yenix twice, he got three life at that point. Yeah, he, true. It just loses. Yeah, yeah, you don't block two times and that's it. That's fine. Okay, Shieldbug and Gorigal Alpha, it's crazy how strong this card is now. Uh, Tasca des Torta. It's okay to you. You got like Plated Scorpion and Reno Turtle. I don't care. No. I'm pretty sure I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't really care. I think it's just dropped the Rhino. Yeah. And if he takes it, then it will take a bit longer, but I have Compost Dragon. I think I have a Sneaky in my graveyard. I think long term with the Gorigal at 7 power with the Kangasaurus. I think at this point, if he takes that, I'm very confident long term, I'm just going to win. And if he doesn't take it, also yeah. I'm confident. Okay. He takes it. I mean, you know you manage the, the board. His board is, is okay to you. Like you have one Plated Scorpion, one Compost Dragon, it's perfectly fine. And you have two Mind Bug. Yeah, let's so, just get the Sneaky back probably here. Which is the best answer you can get because <laughs> why not? Why not defeating your opponent next turn? And yeah. we can see that he have like no answer, no direct answer to it. So we need to draw by playing a sneaky. Or yeah, sneaky. The only choice is to play a sneaky here. This guy. And I think he will yeah. do it, but then I mean on your on your on your side you do it, you mind bug it, right? Because it's a second sneaky. Third bomber? Yeah. Yeah. I think my cards okay. still have value. And I still have two mind bugs. If I only have one, I might be like, well, yeah. I don't need it. But if I have two, I have the luxury of just saying, okay, show me what you got. Yeah. And you have one of the two Congos or Rex, which is mm. good also to know that he may not have the second one. Like, less likely, I, I mean. And uh, because Congos or Rex here could be quite bad for you, obviously. Yeah. And then maybe super bad, right? If you have only the Splated Scorpion and the Gorigal Alpha left, I think it's not much to... to I think I game. would just have to mind back yeah. the Kangosaurus. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> you, you know he cannot have two, which is super important. If he plays yeah. one, you can mind bug it safely, like, okay, I don't, I know he, have, he doesn't have a second one. And now, now you don't know, but he gets no answer, and now you know, because he shows you, like, the Luchator. It's a thumb up, and... Uh, yeah, I think that's game. Yeah. It looks like I'm... No, I, I didn't. <laughs> like, it looked like I was still thinking about something. <laughs> no, but I, I probably wasn't. I was like... Yeah. Maybe I was thinking about BMing, but... <laughs> I, don't... <laughs> I, just, uh, I think I decided against it, because there's still risk. Um, yeah, true. I mean... You could, like, hunt away the Dracula or something, but no. Um... Yeah, true. Yeah, you didn't no, no, know, it's... so... Yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't do that, generally. Like, and it's, that, it's a game where friends. you can be really hard punished by my doing bad manner and playing a few more turns that you don't need so yeah i don't tend to do that if i win because i like in other card games i've played in the past sometimes i would <laughs> i would when i was younger i would sometimes pm and then lose the game yeah so uh no nah, i just i think it's it's um yeah obviously it's bad mannered and second of all i think you should just always look for ways to end the game mm -hmm. and yeah when you can you should always take the opportunity yeah, because it, it's a good habit to have yeah yeah true so yeah 
Yeah, so, I think I was happy with this game. There was still stuff that I could have done different, but obviously, whenever you commentate, you see the opponent's hand as well. Yeah. So it it kind of it it may be small, but it gives you some sort of bias. I feel like which you don't have as the player mm -hmm. because you don't have the full information. Yeah. So yeah, I think most of the stuff done in this game was was fine. Yeah, I think it was a, a good game for you, from you, and uh, and and from uh, Ying Yao. It was, I think, it was also a good game he played here. Uh, mm -hmm. Just like, yeah, the I'm I'm not so fan about the player about the Fable Instigator. I think it, he was too in a hurry to defeat your favorite pacifier with it, and then he lost it. Uh, yeah, because you gave him an opportunity to save it. By not attacking with the so play the scorpion yeah, at that time. So that, that's one thing I, I think I should have attacked with the scorpion. Maybe I was thinking in the long run, Goregal would be Yeah would be valuable. Yeah, I mean sometimes it's not easy to to know the, the you know, like when you have a frame where you can play a card, sometimes say, Okay, I don't know if I will have this frame like two yes, turns later. So exactly. you take that frame to play what you want to play, even if it's make this yeah. kind of play. And Goregal is a card that you <laughs> really, really like to develop if you yeah. have the opportunity to. Yeah, true. Like it's you don't often you can't play because of mind box or because you're too low HP or yeah, it's just not not that easy to develop sometimes. Yeah. Because often it will get mind bugged if it's a neutral board state. And if you're winning, you kind of... Yeah, I guess it's nice if they're on, they're low, but you also put yourself at risk. Yeah. Um, and it takes a turn, obviously. So if you find a good opportunity like this one, I think it's often correct to play it. But here I think I would have preferred this just to attack. Because... I then force him again to play a card, which I can mind bug. He yeah. still is stuck with those two seven, seven beasts that can't do anything basically. So, I think the sh the, the scorpion attack would have been a bit a bit smarter. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, yeah. I, Time. It, it's, it's always speculative yeah, because yeah. you can't know what they have. I'm sure. I was now you know that you have else. a Gorigal Alpha on the table, so it's also better to have yeah. this guy now than later when it's too late. You know. Yeah, so, and against Brainfly, let me think. If they have Brainfly for the Goregal, I can been, just take been, their... Yeah, could have been bad, but... Uh... I can take one of theirs yeah. and not be so sad about it. Yeah, true. Yeah, I think it was overall fine. Like, yeah, th no, that's the thing. Uh, playing perfect in Mindbug is... Blah. It's not possible, basically. You have to take choice and decision at some point. Yeah, that's you how... don't have full information, so you yeah. can't... You always just speculate, you try to come up with the best play, and you try to play around the threats you think they could have. Yeah, and, and I don't know for you, know... but sometimes you also read your opponent, like, you think, like, yeah. okay, the way he's playing, it's like he has a 2 kilo B, you know, or something like this. Exactly. And so yeah. even if it's, like, not likely to get 2 kilo B in a game, you may play around it because you guess or feel that your opponent has those cards in hand. So... But maybe it's not. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's no, it's funny. Actually, that happens quite a lot. And then at the end, they play it, but it doesn't do anything anymore. And you're like, well, yeah. okay, yeah. good thing I played around that because <laughs> exactly. uh, he actually had it or they actually had it. Yeah. True. So, um, yeah, you have to play around stuff. Also, like, for example, in the evolution set, sometimes people do very weird attacks uh, that actually just loses them, them cards. Yeah. And that's usually because they tried to. Uh, um, to play their dragon in. And you have to be very wary of that. If they just start randomly attacking and yeah. you feel like, oh, they made a mistake, I'm just going to block. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They might have dragon in. And actually, that uh, that saved me in one of the championship games. Uh, no, no, actually, the Swiss Nationals games. I was talking to my brother while playing the game because he was just watching me from the back. And I was saying, well, he must have dragon in. And then at the end, he played Dragon and it was like, well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the way he played, it's yeah, just... Um, true, yeah, sometimes reads, like, it's I not a those... mistake, guy. I'm pretty sure you get you get something in mind, you know. It's yeah. like, yeah. But on some, like, I don't, depending on, on the player you face, sometimes they can fake it. Like, they can make you play around something that they don't have just because they behave as if they got it in hand. 
And sometimes yeah. it's just like they do a mistake and say, oh, no, I did a mistake. Or I hope that my opponent will interpret that as a, not a mistake, but as a smart play to bring something else later. <laughs> I try to sometimes do that when with the speed I'm playing at. Basically, like yeah. I see that I lose if he takes that card. So you but I still have fast? like four cards. Yeah, I play it fast. Yeah. Because I, I want him to believe, oh, I don't even have to think about it. I just play it. And to be fair, I don't have to think about it because if he mind bugs it, I lose. If he doesn't, I still have a chance. Mm -hmm. So instead of waiting and waiting and waiting, then playing another card, hoping for him to mind bug, if he actually analyzes the board state, he realizes he doesn't have to take any card except the one that I need. Yeah. And so he won't ever take it. So instead, I just immediately rush it out. I completely agree uh, with you. I, I feel the same. Uh, and then good, they good sometimes feel like, oh, he's so self, like he's. Yeah, yeah. He's he so plays confident. that so, so far that he may have a plenty of answer to it. So he must I, have I, will, an answer. I will let it go with it. And then yes. that was and the, the that my, my hand is yeah. completely dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you you can you can definitely um fake people out, but sometimes I also like I did that at Worlds a bit more. I sometimes took forever, you know, like uh, really let the, the clock mm. run low thinking, oh, this is a risky play <laughs> because I wanted them to yeah. mind bug it and then immediately play the answer. Like you can do both yeah, ways. that's true. And, that's completely true. And it's funny. I, I don't think about it much when playing against people, but I do it more for myself. But I wonder if, if people actually, uh, like on board, that... it's something mm -hmm. else as well. But I mean, like you can definitely fake out people. If you play against me, then it would work because I'm really uh, like, uh, you know, feeling like, he plays super slow right now. It took a <laughs> lot of time. So it would have been something that it's uh, super annoying to him and so on. So if you fake it against me, I think it, w it will work. So I'm pretty sure that it's not only me, but some other players also will uh, will fall yeah. into that. There are mind games in, in Mindbug. I, I, yeah. I really like it. Um, but but yeah, I don't want to give away <laughs> too many strategies. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep, keep, the, keep but the other like, players. Even the fact that you know that I may fake out, is also an option that I don't. Yeah. So it's still always like, um, yeah, it's still always a mind game because yeah, you obviously can't think about them thinking about what you're thinking. Yeah, I mean, about. it's like very it's similar a classic, to poker. Right? Like, uh, you yeah, can it's fake a classic or not one fake, that... but uh, in the end, it's up to you to, to take the right choice. <laughs> yeah. And usually, no matter how fast they play, you should just analyze the board state and consider if you need it but yeah you have to make guesses sometimes you do have to make reads and these yep. things can can help you make reads how long do they take how how fast do they play mm -hmm. Just, yeah, yeah i agree so you can definitely um i think a lot of people and like me as well we can still get a lot better with these kind of things but Ooh. yeah it's fun that it's like already such a cerebral game you like like so much cognitive thinking is going on, but there is also mind games, not just within what you play, but how you play, which yep. I really like. Yeah, I agree. Thanks a lot. It was uh, super cool to have you here. Uh, very interesting discussion we get together. Uh, so I hope all of you will also enjoy uh, those small discussion and the games, the two games. So congratulations, you won this match against uh, China, but we can already announce the uh, final result of the of the overall match of uh, Switzerland versus China. And if I'm not saying a mistake, you uh, lost the... Yeah, we, we lost. Uh, I may have won this this uh, match, but we lost the war, basically. <laughs> I think it was no, but... I think it was quite close, right? It was 2-0 yeah, and 2-0, was... but then the other one... It was 2-1, and it was a very close game, yeah. I think, in Evolution. Like, that's at least what I heard. I didn't see it, because you can't watch it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he said... our. He said it was a very close game, and um, he's he's really good at evolution, so I'm sure he, he pushed him. But China also has a as a strong team, so yeah, also these like, games yeah. like these games were not not easy at all. Like uh, the first game, I could have easily lost, and the second one, I, yep. I got really good cards as well. And there was like it's small margins sometimes. Um, you got to make small small decisions that yeah. lead to to very different results. But yeah, thanks for having me. It was uh, a lot of fun, and uh, no, th yeah, I hope you. we can uh, we can beat Netherlands and uh, move on to the group stages. Uh, yeah, also, no, the knockout you, yeah. stages. So, thank you. Thanks a lot, and uh, see you soon, guys.